Good afternoon, I guess, everybody. <laughs> uh, thanks for uh, coming in and joining us for another week of Die Party Blood Juice. I think it's, I believe it is actually, yes, week three. Um, and yeah, the whole crew is here, including <laughs> Engelard and Jacob. They're Ooh. back from their uh, monetary, uh, well, no. More like power woes, I guess, more than anything. Um, Mine's probably monetary power woes with how much this freaking charger costed. Oh, really? Cost you an arm and a leg? You 70 better... bucks. Wow. What? You... Wow. That's incredible. It needed a spe... This thing needed a specific charger for some stupid reason. Uh, laptops. Oh, I bet you totally got... I bet you got had. Nope, I looked... I actually went and did the research. It was 70 bucks was about where it was everywhere. Well, it's better than buying a brand new laptop, I suppose, so... Yeah, so uh, the whole crew is here. We've uh, let me introduce everyone, then we can get started on the game because I'm fucking pumped, man. Uh, first up, we have Wreckage, who will be this time playing another dwarf called Thor, who we met last week. You gotta say hello. Hi. There we go. Thank but you. But he's mute. <laughs> well, you can say hello. <laughs> uh, up next, we have Jacob, who will be playing Engelard. Yo. And I, again, will be playing the role of Walzer and half the brain of Pike. The other half will be played by uh, Graham, who is also our Game Master. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't say hello yeah, again. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that, that rounds out the entire crew. Um, Graham, why don't you explain what happened last week? And tell us all about how Loyal is a piece of shit. Well, how about this? Jacob, why don't you tell us what happened last time? Yeah. I want to hear what Jake I wanna hear what you had to say. Oh boy. I want it to be full of enthusiasm. <laughs> Damn you. Well, I mean I'm just trying to give the qu the quickest summary possible because I'm bad at summaries, but so basically, um after we uh cleared out the basement, um we then uh Paul Far proceeded to tie up the goblin leader, bring him upstairs bring him to one of the um, elders I suppose to get interrogated, who happened to be very anti-human. Mm. And so the moment that that guy heard, oh, the, my, a human might have been helping them, he starts going, he basically off and runs like, you know, we would never let the, we should never trust these humans to, and shit like that. Um, Walzer almost started something by refusing to leave the guy's house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, then they all dragged um, the goblin, I guess the goblin leader down to, uh, what's his name again? Dwarf leader? Lord Ragnar. Brad, Brad and I, yes, dragged him down there. Uh, there was a whole um, little interrogation theme for everything that we knew. Um, we then proceed. Walzer and um, Ingrid then proceed to leave. Um, partially because Walzer was, about, was probably about to deck the um, the elder for, for being a ra racist against human so badly. Yeah, you're onto it. Um, we went. We uh, took our leave then. Went back to uh, Thistleboro's after going through uh, <laughs> the hive of scum and villain villainry. Ugh. I honestly, I don't even want. <laughs> Anyways, once we got there, um, we got we came up with a plan based with just a couple others to um, basically we were going to still interrupt a um, what do you call it? Uh, a, a, a few emissaries from bud bears and hobgoblins, the goblins mm -hmm. that were trying to make a um, uh, an alliance. If the emissaries were to suddenly disappear, then the goblins would be suspected. So our job was basically to go meet up with the dwarves and then um, kill some emissaries. So then we passed through four. Oh fuck! I can't. Fort I Mitchell. can't remember names. Mitch. Mitchell. Oh, God damn it. How could you forget Fort... Mitchell? It's like the fucking worst. <laughs> I know it's the worst. I don't want to remember it. <laughs> well, Fort Mitchell. Anyway, so we passed through Fort Mitchell, and then we proceeded to get stopped by um this old. There's basically this. But I'm just gonna call him a butler. Okay. He's basically trying to like a butler. Hmm. This old butler who um, who's a uh, master, lo who's named Loyal, um, basically um, hired a bunch of um, guardsmen to, to harass us and bring us to him to stop us from going to uh, stop the goblins emissary to stop the um, what you call it, the, the emissaries from um, making it back, because he was promised by the um, goblins that oh they would spare him if the, and actually help him overthrow the uh, city if they just turned him. Well, I know to them. Yeah. <clears throat> and also we found out that 
that that lawyer was in fact the uh, guy who was helping the goblins out with um with the break into the basement. Hence, they were loyal to loyal. Yeah. Um. And then after that, uh, since we after we uh, exchanged some tense words, so to speak, <laughs> with um, they ba he basically ordered uh, all the guards to uh, kill kill our um kill Pike in the uh and angle our horse and leave us alive and hold us down. Then they proceeded to, let's see, four of them lost various amounts of their arms. <laughs> um, I think several of them ran away. Uh, did we, I can't remember, did we actually kill any of them? Yeah. No, but you, you, I don't think you killed any of them, but you inca incapacitated them. Well, I, um, I think Pike ripped the entire thigh off of one of them, assuming that he would have died yeah. by Pretty much, them. yeah. You're not sure, yeah. yeah. Not it is a fantasy okay. setting where healing can be magic. I've never seen I mean, healing magic so far. It's true. <clears throat> well, uh, yeah. Anyways, basically, yeah. <clears throat> after giving them a, thr a complete utter thrashing, um, Loyal just basically said, Screw, I'm counting my losses here, let them go. After, and and then, you forget to mention that you went fucking supernova. <laughs> eh... Not how could you? <laughs> how could you skim over that? That was like the linchpin in that fight, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I did mention that four of them lost various amounts of their arms. That's true. They did. You cauterized basically, them pretty quickly. Basically, they all tried to um grab. For those of you that might miss last week, they basically four guards tried to grab Ingolard, and then he cast a spell called Death Armor. That for anybody that touches him, he they would have to make a um a save, or else they take two d six points of damage from death. Basically. The result was, you know, arms. all four of them failed. Yeah, <laughs> they all failed. Yeah. Um, some of them, uh, one of them, one of their hands, uh, or one of the guys, both of his hands, essentially rotted instantly and yeah. fell yep. away. Yeah. Um, also, can we get like um, maybe a weekly summary on the calorie count for Pike? I think that's that's kind of important. <laughs> Why? Okay. Because he's like, oh, no. fat. <laughs> We're not going to start doing the math on how many calories a goblin is. <laughs> I have fucking better things to do with my life. Hey, shut up. You're, you can't talk. So, so. does Graham. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Um, Graham, do you have better things to do with your one, life than to determine 1, the calories? 1,000 calories. It's so, half really a, so, so a goblin is like half your recommended daily intake of calories for a uh, human being? For a human being. <laughs> yep. Sure, why not? <laughs> they're just empty, empty. Just, they're they're just, fucking. Just they're, nothing, just, they're made out of celery, just, guys. Bone, like. bone and skin. <laughs> Goblins are very porous. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a lot of air bubbles in them. <laughs> Anywho, oh, uh, which is anyways, why goblins after... float and are a good emergency flotation device. Yes. Well, anyways, enough. after um, after loyal just basically said screw up. I'm done here. We're done with these guys. We just kind of um left Fort, left Fort Mitchell, met up with the dwarves, and then after discussing plans, um, since they found the uh, high, the dwarf, uh, not dwarf, goblin headquarters, basically they were going to split up and um, some would I believe Bothbar was in the west, the the one attacking from the west. So yeah, so Bolvor is gonna um, mm. so basically left Thor with Walzer and Engelard. Bolvor would take the rest of his squad around the uh, left side. And go around the back, through the mountains, through like you know rigorous mountaineering, to kind of after you distract them from the front, they're going to come in from the back, and then Bafar and his squad are going to come in from the right side, up the middle. All right. Yep. Sounds reasonable. And we basically left off just having found a cave. That would be very annoying to walk through. To walk through for us. Yeah, Thor, Thor has led you to a about five foot wide cave mouth. Um, the ceiling of which is about a little over six foot, and so you're going to have to stoop if you're over like six one, which I think Jacob is. God damn it! Or Angelard. <laughs> uh, how old is Wal? How tall is Walzer? Let me just take a look. Well, he's not as tall as Angelard. Let's just fucking make Nobody that one hundred percent clear right now. Nobody's Nobody. as tall as Angelard. Uh, he said. Mm. I don't actually have his height here. That's really he's, weird. He's like five, he's like five eight. Yeah, I know he was the same height as like a little bit taller than Oral. Mm -hmm. I know that much. Yeah. Something like five eight or five seven. Yeah, 
Unimportant. Um, you guys keep doing this. I just need to run to my roommate's room for one second because he's. Yeah, just keep going. What? Okay. His roommate's making noise. Well then. So Thor has led you, Engelard, and Walzer, who's not there, to a cave mouth. What happens next? Um, this is it's supposedly an entrance into the Gnomish Borough Town that is being used as a stage for. Yeah. Uh, this meeting. Mm, I mean, I, I, there's not that much interesting to find now, probably. Um, you, you did find some tracks, remember? That's yes, not. we did. Um, there, oh yeah, the tracks. Um, they were just like for like a very big wolf or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was literally just a big wolf, from what I remember you telling us. Yeah, but I think we actually no, we we passed a monster law. And it wasn't a monster, so. Yeah. But I don't think we pass anything else. All right. Mm -hmm. Whatever's next. Well, I, um, so we're out the front of this this cave. Mm -hmm. um, it's very dark. Very orders. Uh, you know, <laughs> go in and and uh, kill goblins. Yeah, is, 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 is it Thor's orders to uh, lead them or to be led? Uh, lead them. All right then. Well, Thor will go in. Okay. Okay. I'll stoop and follow him. Do we need a torch? It would, it would help to have a torch. Uh, right. Thor, Thor doesn't necessarily do one of Thor's skills is blind fighting. I oh, have well a then. torch. Is the, is, right. the, is the thing big enough to fit Pike in here, by the way? He has to stoop, and he will take the same penalty of uh, same penalty to attack. So he was negative two, right? Is it wide enough for Pike? Pike's not that wide. He's Pike's not that wide. It's, yeah. it's, about, it's about five foot wide. Okay. But you can walk single file only. Yeah. Thor will go first. Yeah, Thor, Thor doesn't have a problem walking through easily. He mimes whistling. <laughs> okay. Does that sound like... I'm, I, I imagine... You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys just follow Thor? Yeah, yep. um, I mean, like... He seems to know where he's going, and he hasn't said much up until now. I mean, I've tried to converse <laughs> with him, but I haven't gotten anything out of him. Um, yeah, sure. I, I, I want to try and, like, um, like, we, we talked to, we talk, who did we talk to at the, um, at the intersection before we split ways? Bolvor. 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 And, yeah. So, he, did he relay instructions to us about Thor? Well, yeah, Thor is going to lead you into the Goblin Complex and mm. want you to basically cause a distraction. Okay. All right, and but right. like, is there By like killing as many goblins as possible? Was it literally like? Did he tell? Okay, that's it. All right, that's fine then. Four, cool. Well, I'll just follow. I guess. What's okay. the path looking like? Uh, well, this five foot path basically moves through about uh, fifteen feet and then hooks to the left. Okay, I will. All right. Thor will look around the corner. Okay. Uh, Thor, you guys have a torch? Yeah, I have a torch. Oh. Walzer does, but he's a couple people back. I'm, okay. I'm, I should be second, right? Yeah, you'd be second. Yeah, Pike uh, would be up you're to able, three, so, yeah. if you If you look around the corner, you're able to see a couple of things. One is that this hallway is essentially coated in fungi. Interesting. Uh, large fungi. Can I do a survival check As in on these big mushroomy looking things, or more like yeah. mossy looking things? No, big mushroomy looking things. Okay. Alright, so you said I can do a survival check on these things? For what? See if they're edible? See what they are, see if I know them. See if I know that they're poisonous or anything like that. Mmm, sure. See if they release spores, that sort of thing. Go ahead. Because you've caught us with spores before, and I don't want to fall into that trick. Plus 11, okay. <clears throat> Alright. Um, you've seen these before. These are not, um, firstly, they're not edible, and secondly, they're not actually fungi. They're actually a monster. I... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. Perhaps the monster lore check would be more apt. Yes, I believe oh, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> and you, so, so you, you see this, what do you say to Engelard? Uh... They're actually moving and they have faces. Uh, well, they're, not, they're not moving and they don't have faces. 
Okay. Well, I don't know that. Um, I mean, uh, then don't say it. Okay. So uh, I, I turned angle out and I'm like, uh, do you know what those are? Because I know that they're not plants. Well, I mean, that was my role. Ah, 23. Uh, Angular, do you know that um, this particular monstrous fungi is actually used by intelligent creatures as an alarm system? And, and whenever torchlight is near them, they will shriek. Oh, put... Mauser, put that fucking torch out. But then I can't see. But then... Do you want those things to start shrieking and why, letting everyone know where would, we are? Why would they shriek? That's kind of what they do. They're, they're basically... They're kind of... It's hard to say, but basically it's like if you put put a bucket above your door... Thor starts waving his greatsword. <laughs> and then he... He, uh, he points to the torch and he points to the fungus and then he says... Do you want me to it. light them on fire? No, 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 no. Oh, don't, don't, just, just, just give me... Just, he shakes his head at Angelard, and, he, and, he, and he, uh, he tries to grab the torch from, from Walzer. Hey now, I mean, you don't have two hands. You only have two hands. You can't carry both of these things. It makes more sense that I carry the torch. Walzer? He face not... bombs. And <laughs> Walzer, just stop. I'm not joking. He, Put out the he, torch, or else no, the entire he, thing will know. Thor shakes his head. No, no, don't do that. Uh, so you want me to keep the torch out? <laughs> uh, Thor nods and then points to the, the things. Uh, okay, you want me to throw is, is, the torch at them? GM, what's the floor? Dirt. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Thor is gonna write in the dirt, uh, <laughs> Beach okay. Crestian for distraction hmm. well, suppose we are just a distraction with an exclamation walls are just remember you want me to that 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 you want me to distract the, the mushrooms <laughs> face palms again I Ingolard sl softly slams his head into the wall our job is distraction he, he, he writes in the dirt yeah I know that why are you retelling me this that makes no sense like walls are Bowser. Yes. The whole point of these fungi is that they will shriek the moment that they get hit by torchlight. Therefore, if they, the moment that your torchlight hits them, then they'll start shrieking, and then all the goblins will know where we are. Oh, and then I. And it's a distraction. I, oh, in that case, I throw the torch at them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> for uh, for great so dad sweat from his temples. <laughs> go and make. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Okay. With, with what <laughs> and, uh, type of bonus? Just, just 1d20 minus 4, no bonus. Minus 4? But, okay. Do you, have, do you have throwing proficiency? I do oh, not. He's just throwing it at an area. I mean, is that... Yeah. If you don't want to try to hit it, that's fine. Well, I mean, or, no, I'll, I'll aim for it, hit. but, like, I'll try and, like, get it in the area, but I'll be aiming for the thing as well. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and hit it, obviously. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So make an attack roll. 1d20 minus 4. Okay. 3. <laughs> All right, the yeah, okay. So the <laughs> fungi, basically the torch flies into the hallway, lands mm -hmm. on the on the ground, and uh, all of the fungi begin to emit a tone that is very high pitched and droning that I don't have a sound effect for, but I wish I had the foresight to pick one. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yep. Then what? What do you guys do next? Uh, oh, I'm going to ready. Things, some things are happening now. Yeah, I'm going to ready um, my crossbow. Okay. Where, uh, where at? In the dark? Oh. Into the darkness? No, the Actually, I'm, Thor's going to move up to the torch light. As I am. Uh, yeah, same. Okay. okay. And I guess we're just going to try and lure as many goblins in here as we can. Okay. Uh, basically, the torchlight uh, lights the hallway. You can all see each other. You see the fungi um, kind of just continuing to make noise, shrieking. All right, I'm going to try uh, and... And then further further down, a essentially a hallway you can't see the end of, uh, and then just fades into darkness. Okay. Um, is 
Are these fungi easy to silence, do you reckon? Like, is it something... You step on them, yeah. I'll step on them. Okay. <laughs> squish, 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 squish. I mean, we don't need to step on all of them. We need to have some sort of alarm to keep going. No, no, no I'm going to silence them so it seems like that we got caught. Mm, true. No, 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 no. Shake hey. his head. Keep, yeah. keep a couple on. I'm, I'm squishing yeah, my feet uh, on these things, and I hear no complaints from behind me, so I keep squishing. Well, I Say. Fucking, well, I'm in front of you first of all because I moved up to the. So you gotta, you got Okay, so you walk up, and then you walk into the mushroom field, and you start squishing them to tell me to stop squishing them. <laughs> well, I was in front of you, so you would have passed me to start squishing mushrooms, and I will, you know, place a hand on you and shake. Break my head. Graham, this is going to be an amazing episode. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a good time. Um, <laughs> when you silence enough of the, well, well when you, you squish, start squishing them, yeah. um, eventually a a voice comes from down the hallway into the darkness, and he says, he "says Amare, Adede." Huh? I say back in. Uh, in uh, Dwarven, I say back, uh, we are friendly. <laughs> the voice comes back. Asip, in Cordana Ruaya. I say back, Asip, in Dwarven, uh, <laughs> we have many cakes for you to consume. Come join us at this party. <laughs> <laughs> you hear um kind of quietly uh the voice says Bart, I know. She didn't really hear what he said, but the, I guess suppose it doesn't matter. Um at which point an arrow flies down the hallway and hits the ground in front of the party. Does it squish oh. any of the mushrooms? Yeah, sure. Cool. <laughs> uh I want to take the uh my second torch. Um, and light it on the first torch and throw it down the hallway again. Okay. Are there mushrooms growing on the walls too? Yes, GM. All right. Well, I'm gonna press myself against the wall so that the mushrooms are cover. <laughs> well, they're not, they're not that big. I think yeah. they're mushroom size mushrooms, but I could be wrong. Uh, no, they're they're larger than normal size mushrooms, but they're not dwarf size mushrooms. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, I throw the um. Second torch down the hallway. You throw the torch down, um, mm -hmm. farther down. Let's see yeah. how far can a person throw. Remember, I've got muscle for days. Yep, uh, go ahead and make a muscle check. Okay, so D20 plus 18. 31. I throw out 31 meters. Uh, no, you throw <laughs> it very far down the hallway, um, kind of skitters <laughs> along the ground and rolls into a, uh, uh, what you can see now is a larger chamber, and um, you also see, that, well, firstly, you see that there's an armored goblin standing there, as well as three goblins with mm, bow and arrows. I wave at them. Huh. I face Paul. All right, the uh, three goblins with loose arrows at the party. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Do they, the goblins have, like, <clears throat> lat vision or whatever it is? They do. Goblins have dark vision. <clears throat> dark vision, right. Now. Okay. It's practically night vision. Yeah. Uh, so okay. Let's see. Let's see who they're going to, I'm just going to check. There are three, there are three archers, and then a, then a kind of mus very muscular commander goblin wearing armor and has a, has a short sword and a shield. Okay. And these are just normal size, uh, you know, small goblins. Normal <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Angelard, what's your armor class? Uh, isn't it 19? I believe it's 17, is it not? It's 19. Well, it's 19 on the stream, anyway. Ah, we'll, we'll go with that then. Mm. Okay, uh, so an arrow is going to uh, pierce a, a harmless section of uh, clothing that you have on you. Uh, Walzer? Yep. Uh, an arrow whizzes over your head, you feel the breeze. In your hair. Feels good. Uh, and uh, Buffar, a arrow basically flops in front of the goblin that was aiming at you and uh, you mean Thor? Flops, flops, flops to the ground. Thor, yeah. Yes. Um, 
Uh, Thor has running. Can I charge them? Well, let's go ahead and roll for initiative. That was a surprise round. How, how intense is the uh, duration of the hallway? Oh, I can throw it down there, so it's probably not that The long. hallway is, yeah, about 20. <clears throat> Alright, so my initial roll, I believe, is 1d20 plus 7 with the stupid crossbow, so... Yeah, oh, hey. oh, I thought I was 11. Damn it. <laughs> no. also, also, running proficiency is, is for long distance running. Oh. Uh, charging, yeah. not any particular bonus or anything. That's why I okay, did not so take it. <laughs> what is, what do, I de what do I determine my initiative is? Your, uh, 1d20 plus the speed of your action, whatever your action is going to be. So it would probably be like 9 or 10. 10. 10, Perfect. yeah. So, it plus. 10, are you going to are you going to attack 10. with your sword? Well, that's not my intention. It's actually my intention to just move down the hallway, okay. double move or whatever. Okay. So what does that make you my plus? The, you can get there in one move. Oh, I can get there in one move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then that changes uh, things. I guess I will attack with my great sword then. Okay, so so that would be stand? one. Okay. All right. And Pike is just a D twenty. Hold on, I gotta find a working pin. I've got one right here. Do you want to borrow? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> funny because internet. Yes. Internet humor. Engelard 11, walls are 24. Thor, Thor 14, 14, walls and Pike 18. 18. By the way, can you make like another character for me? Like so I can swap, because I can swap between two different things. So I can swap between Pike and walls when I what do, do you mean? the rolls. Oh, no. How do, you, do you know how to do that in D20? No. Well, I know how to do it, but... Nah. I don't have it necessarily right now. Okay. It's not a big deal. I'm not sure. Just put walls or slash pipe. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, important. Um, Angelard, what would you like to do? Well, my, I mean, I'm really fired back. Essentially what you see, dark hallway. Yep. Torchlight in front of you. Torchlight in front of them. Uh, tw like 10 feet of darkness, and then uh, kind of a larger chamber that's, you know, probably 30 feet across, but um, has an entrance portal about five feet across, five feet wide, 10 feet wide, 10 feet wide. I'll probably shoot at the um, goblin that shot at me. Hell yeah. Okay. Sure. That was right. a really nice jacket I had. <laughs> piece of coat, really nice small piece, scrap of clothing. Um, what do they count in? Small or medium? Small. Okay. So that would be nine. like six for you? No, nine. Yeah. Yep. Twenty one. Hey. Twenty one uh, hits, that's gonna deal four points. Alright. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. not bad. Okay. The arrow flies through the darkness and then reappears in the torchlight and uh, strikes the instigating goblin in the leg and the meat. Why is it that you use a uh, crossbow when a bow would give you two shots around? A crossbow was... does more damage. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And also it made more sense for the character because he built his own. He's always built his own crossbows. In oh, okay. yeah. I, I do remember you saying right. that at one point. That goblin is uh, injured now. Minor bleeding. Two thirds move. Okay. Ha. Sweet. Good. Good. Which is that? The, is that one of the bowmen? That was a bowman, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thor. So I, I charge and attack. Which one? Um, there's three dudes, there's right? Three, there's three bowmen and then a commander. Commander, obviously. Okay, very muscular commander. Yeah, well, I'm gonna slice his head off with like my great sword. And a and a sword. Is there a gap where, where his neck is? Mm, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna slice his head off with my great sword. Cold shot? Uh, what is the penalty for cold shot? Minus four. On a 17, uh, that's pretty decent, man. Am I attacking with 17? You are, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do a cold shot on his neck then. Okay. So I do 1d20 plus 13 then? Mm hmm. Wow! Not mm. enough. Not See, I always roll low. Look at four, two. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's uh, you you rush up and swing your great sword. He ducks very deftly and very, um, as if he's got some sort of combat experience. Would I would I have missed if I didn't do call shot still? Uh, if you had your normal, thing, it would have been nineteen. Hit. You would have hit. 
Okay. Well, I have a. Um, uh, apparently, I I need one second to have someone tell me something off camera. Well, you're not on so, camera, so. Two yeah. seconds. One. Two. Oh, he broke his promise. How could he? Yeah. Okay. Fine. That was like five seconds, man. I know. Um, <laughs> all right. That was Thor. Thor has whiffed. The goblins. The goblin commander will retaliate in kind, and he will too make a cold shot to the head. Whoa. Baby. Yeah. Wait. Are, are both those the same size? Uh, no. A dwarf is technically a man-sized enemy because of its girth, because of its width. Yeah, I'm so witty. <laughs> you got that yes. girth, baby. All yeah. about that girth. About that girth. Shut up. <laughs> uh, the goblin will uh, miss as well. You are able to uh, parry in the split second that you missed with. So they both they both duck and they get extremely low to the ground. Both of them are really really low <laughs> to the ground now. Well, no, Thor parried. Both of them as become in, the ground. Not drop. Not if it's <laughs> not ducking. <laughs> It's a different word it means a different thing. I know, I know. I'm just imagining the, a scenario where short people are ducking. The three bowmen uh, assume that the commander can deal with the uh, pesky dwarf, annoying dwarf, and the, and the three bowmen will take shots. Uh, now one at Pike, one at Engelard, and one at Walzer. Is it a straight, like, I thought it was like a, sort of like a curve. Like, I was imagining that Pike would still not be visible, but that's all right. Uh, this, this longer hallway is bit wider as well. Okay, alright. But I can, I can have two of them attack you. I'll do that instead. Yeah, that's fine. Walzer, miss. Miss again. Engelard, miss again. Okay. Second shot, because it's a full round now. They get two shots. Oh, boy. Uh, crit on Walzer on the second one. Mm. Second shot, misses. And then on uh, Engelard, 18 is going to hit. Wait, so they, they roll nope, a 20? 19. Yeah, on you. Yeah, that's going to be a crit on you. Mm. My error class is 19, though. Yeah, they rolled 20. On me? Yeah. yeah. Total. 18 plus 2. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. You just said 18 at first. So how did crits oh, no, work against me, per se? So it's, it's, it's double damage or max damage, whichever is higher. Okay. So what's the damage on a bow? Because if they rolled a 20, my AC is 21, so I'm a little confused how that works. Still a crit. It always hits, no matter what. Yeah. Okay, that help. Not really. I don't know what the damage is because the damage is AC minus. No, it's because it right. Be... It, it's double damage, so it's I'm gonna roll the damage. Okay. On this one. <clears throat> oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Also, when okay. if he gets a plus two anyways to attack, you'd he would have rolled a twenty two anyways if he rolled a twenty, so you yeah. would not hit either way. So yeah. what the double damage would be then? One? No, it'd be two. So max, so max damage is the, is just the attack bonus that you get from the weapon. Yeah. Okay. So the attack bonus you get from the weapon is three. Yeah. So double that is six. Okay. So the the plus three that he gets on his attack roll is the is the damage. So double damage is six. Right. So like you get you get like um plus four or something for your loose earn. So that would be eight. Like oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. <sighs> Walzer, that an arrow flies and strikes you in the chest. Okay. What kind of armor do you have? Uh, bronze plate torso. Bronze plate torso is going to pierce that. Fuck. What yeah. kind of arrows are they using? They're, they're normal. They're standardized metal arrows. Yo, fuck this bronze plate. <laughs> yeah, well that's, that, that's that critical hit for you. Yeah. Uh, you are going to be major bleeding. Okay, from the from a chest wound. Crits are uh, a big deal. Yeah, also half movement and minus four to attacks. Well, it's not like I've done anything yet. <laughs> Engelard, this uh, other hit is going to be... Uh, your armor class 19 is going to do one damage, which is, doesn't do anything, but it does strike you and, you know, takes you back a bit. <laughs> Getting closer, hitting the mark. Cheeky cunt. Cheeky cunt. Uh, secondly, the the commander is going to say something. He's going to uh, yell something in goblinoid um, down a 
adjacent hallway to the left of him, the, to the right of you all. Well, you've lost one fighter in this group. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Thor will handle it. I've got confidence that what he what he misses in uh, speech, he makes up for in... Oh, well, so far you haven't question. hit anything yet, so as far as I'm concerned, you haven't done shit. Pike. What? Pike, Pike will move down. Yeah, Pike. um, let's see. Pike, Pike does a medicine roll on me. No, he doesn't. Yeah, um, I was going to make the same joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Pike... Pike makes a human healing roll. Oh, wait, um... Graham, worth pointing out, um, I'm in a cave, so I get back against the wall for AC, so plus one. Does that change it at all? Your back, your back is not against the wall. Okay. Because imagine yeah. that back against the wall means that somebody is threatening you and your back is to a wall. Okay. Being being shot with an arrow does not give you. Any I blood. thought it was like you know inside a tight space. No, it, it's it's actually you know cornered. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Um, well, in that case, let's take a look at what Pike can do these days. So, so what I've uh, done, um, I took a, a skill that allows Pike to use all of my st um, stunts. stunts. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, I can use a stunt twice: once per, for Pike and once for myself in a in an encounter, which is really nice. Um, costs a lot of XP though. Okay. Uh, so he's well, gonna. Personally, I need you to make a. Uh... Oh, never mind. It's not your turn. It's Pike's turn. Sorry. But it's major bleeding, right? Doesn't it happen on every yeah. other turn? No. Uh, we'll, we'll address that on your turn. Okay. Go. All right. Um. Well, then he's gonna he's gonna move up, and he's going to. He's going to move past you and Angular. Yeah, he's going to run up to where Thor is and start attacking whatever's in the vicinity. Commander? Or one of the bowmen? Uh, let's go with the bowmen, because they look okay. easier. Okay. Um, sure. Do you, want to, do you want to attack the one that's already minor bleeding? Well, if he's running up next to Thor, whatever's closest one he's going to go for, I guess, because he doesn't pick and choose, he just eats. Okay, sure. Um, go a different one. Actually... Yeah. Uh, can I use a pinning smash on the on the on the leader? Can you read me pinning smash? Uh, immobilizes a target until you're not adjacent to it. Sure. Cool. You should go I, for the I, bowman who's killing you. Nah. Meta gaming. This is Pike we're talking about. Um. So, what do we do for that? Well, they're they're all in the same space, so. But this is going to be the leader. So. Um, okay. Uh, so, what are we rolling for Pinning Smash? Just an attack? Okay. I need you to clarify what Pike is doing. Is he attacking the Commander or a Bowman? The Commander, with the Pinning Smash. Okay. Yeah. So, Pinning Smash, he basically, he basically charges, runs up to it, and pounces on it. Yeah. And mm. knocks him to the ground. Yeah. But it's going to be still an attack roll. Yeah. So, what am I attacking with? Legs, I guess. Yeah. So, the attack roll we have here is... Uh, plus one, and what do we have? Uh, what did we have as total plus? Uh, so his bonus? his bite is seven, and his tail is four. But this is his legs, so. So that's gonna be four, also. Okay, so five then. <clears throat> Woo, baby! <laughs> Come on! Okay. Not only is not only is Pike pounce on him, knock him to the ground. His sword actually flies wide, also. Nice. And uh, butter to the push. ground. Yeah, uh, not only that, um, because of the crit, I'll let him make an attack also. Like a, like, a proper bite attack, if you want okay. to. Okay, um, sure. And then he's going to bite at his face. Okay, called shot. Oh, yeah, okay. But, okay. Yeah. The goblin is, is squirrely and will attempt to, you know, dodge out of the way, and he does so uh, quite dexterously. Okay. And then Walzer's turn. Well, sir, go and make a constitution check. Absolutely. I do not wish to die, because that would suck. Uh, 11 is my constitution. So what am I pa uh, trying to pass 20 here? Oh, fuck, it didn't pass. Uh, right. Okay, you're still majorly bleeding. All right. Um, you, wait, can at, I at, actually... At this, stage, at this stage, you have taken two blood loss. Uh, okay. Um, well, that... Should have saved that crit. <laughs> 
don't tell me what to do. Uh, I'm going to use healing on myself with the... Oh, fuck. Pike has a healing pack. That makes no sense. Interesting. Yeah. Because Pike has all the gear on him. Sort of thing, yes. so... Um... There's a torch there. I'm going to cauterize the wound. Okay. I'm going to make a healing check. There's going to be an uh, intuition-based check. All right. So I believe the plus, plus, plus nine. Nice. For intuition? Mm-hmm. Okay. I have plus nine on my paper. It's uh, intuition plus two. <laughs> <laughs> well, crit. Again. Oh, okay right. then. So you take the torch, you're able to uh, halt the bleeding completely. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm scarred as fuck, though. I'll, I'll, like... I'll, even cut that, I'll even cut that minus four down to minus two. Okay, sure. Great, perfect. Wells is angry now. Can I get a move in as well, or is um, that too much? Um, I'll let you move, but you won't be able to attack. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go, to, I'll go to the entrance of the cave, the mouth sort okay. of thing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, then. Sounds good. Yeah, no, you will fuck have, goblins, you man. Have a cool scar there. Yeah, that's fine. Scarring is fine. It's not a big deal. Oh, I, I'm just continuing the um archer versus archer combat. Oh, am I in the way? I hope I'm not in the way. Uh, well, did you, well, uh, did you go I, forward or back? It, you said entrance to the cave, but that's yeah, where well, we came where the where the fight is. So you right. said it opens okay. up into the thing. Entrance to so. the chamber. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Fine. Um, so, walls are... Out, uh, you, you can attack. You, you, have, you have one goblin in sight. I'll attack that. Okay. Don't shoot me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shoot you. I want to shoot you. I'll shoot you. I want to shoot you. Okay. The, the uh, Angelard, your uh, coral flies harmlessly into the room. That and, was uh, almost a repeat, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Thor. A D1. All got right. a one, so got surely the goblin commander has reduced defense being pinned to the ground. Certainly you, you get um, well definitely plus four for being uh, prone. Alright well I'm going to do another called shot to his neck then while he's down there trying coup de gras him. Yeah just plus 17. Bam. 33. Yeah. That'll do it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Let's see, that's going to be, oh, 13 damage on the head. Yeah, firstly, uh, so essentially you separate his head from his shoulders. I'm going to roll it into the room, too. Which room? Into the bigger chamber. Uh, you're in the bigger chamber. There's a chamber that's uh, to your uh, right. Is that where he called down to other people? Yes. I'm going to roll it that way. Okay. Just with the tip of my sword after I pop it off the shoulders. A golf swing? <laughs> I think that's a dex check there, Graham. <laughs> what, throw it in there? For a I'm not throwing it, I'm just rolling it in that direction. Oh, okay. I want them to see the head when they come in. <laughs> yep. With their low light vision. How about um, the enemies? Mm hmm. Seems interesting. The goblins will make a morale check now that the leader is dead. Mm hmm. There's some hardy goblins. Um, so one of the goblins, um, the one that is already bleeding and is down two-thirds move, will um, throw his bow and arrow harmlessly at at, uh, at Thor and run away. Can I catch it? Attack of bow opportunity. Make a dexterity check. No, he's not that. He's not that close to provoking attack of opportunity. Sure, I'll make a dexterity check. Uh, I, I roll d20 plus my dex. Is that yep. how that works? Yep. All right. That's twenty plus eleven. Twenty-two. You cast the bow. You cast the bow. All right. Cool. All right. You throw it back. Um, the goblin <laughs> will. Uh, he will run. He will say something in goblinoid and run, screaming, into the next room, which is to Thor's right and uh, all of your rights. Um, the second and third goblins, however, um, they will attempt to move around the outside of the room away from everybody strategically. Um, so further into the room or towards further the, into, so the So the large chamber yeah. is about uh, 30 by 30 feet square. And there's a hallway that j that goes to the right. Okay. Okay. Pike is uh, on top of the body of the commander next to Thor in the middle of the room. Sure. You are at the entrance of the room and Angler's down the hallway. They will move around uh, the front side of Pike 
um, arrows drawn and uh, uh, arrows knocked, rather, moving around the back wall. Okay. Um, can Pike make uh, an intimidation, or is that is it still in combat? I on, guess on on his turn he can. Okay, perfect. It's Pike's turn. I will make an intimidation check. Yeah. And then, if I can, I will also attempt to attack them. Okay. So I believe his was eight. Uh, intimidate plus fourteen. Uh, yes, there it is, plus fourteen. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so the uh, so so Pike um, tries to um, scream, but uh, he realizes that his talon is caught on the uh, commander's uh, armor, and he kind of face plants. Okay. All right. So I guess no attack then. On the critical miss, I'm gonna say no, no attack. Cool. Right. Walzer. <clears throat> Uh, so, do I have any penalties for uh, being shot in the chest, or did you're at half half movement and minus two to attacks? Okay, even though I rolled a perfect thing, uh, still, yeah, it's, I guess it still hurts. Here. So, yeah, that makes you're sense. not you're not bleeding at all, and also the burn, the char now. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go to uh, the back of Pike. Mm -hmm. I guess, and get the healing kit there and see if I can reduce those effects. Okay. Like, you know, you sort got, of cover the wound, maybe... You've got, you've got a salve. Uh, go and make a healing check. Yeah. This would be an intelligence-based check now. Okay. So that's 11. No. 12. 12, yeah. Twenty-seven. Alright, you're able to reduce the penalty... To no no penalty to attacks mm -hmm. and only a, and uh, you know what no movement penalty either just back to back to normal. Fantastic. So basically, I uh, sort of apply like a salve and then maybe like some sort of cloth, yep, like over cloth. the top and under, uh, underneath the armor sort of thing. And, yeah, you've um, kind of had to you've kind of had to reach into the armor. It's kind of awkward, but that's uh, yeah. You know, that's I'm not going to cool. take the armor off because you know in combat, but yeah, sure. I'm going to do what I can for the moment. Sort of reduce the pain, uh, reduce the uh, the sort of tension, I guess. Because I, I guess the skin is all taut because of the... Um, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, so hopefully that'll do it. And um, then I put the stuff back and... Yeah, I guess that'll be my turn. Engelhard. Um, can I still only see one of them or... Uh, no, they've moved uh, around oh, yeah. the outside of the room. So you cannot see... Any, Don't forget any, the well, uh, walls are walls, walls are moved. Yeah. yeah. And... Uh, yeah. So, uh... Well, I'm gonna drop no, them up. You're gonna have to move up. Yeah, yep. don't forget I'm the torch up. if you can, by the way. Yeah, I'm grabbing. I'll, dro I'll grab the torch that was near me and move up. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Uh, where, where to? Probably next to all walls are in pike. Okay. Alright, um... Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. My audio cut out a couple times there, so I got a little bit confused. Um... Uh, you said they went down a side thing? Yeah, to the right oh. of you. They're, they're walking around the outside of the room still. Okay. Alright, so... Towards the exit, towards the other hallway. Alright, so can, we can see them then? Yes. Um, Alright, I'll take a pot shot then. <laughs> but, I mean, I didn't rush them. Well, that'll hit. at least I hit for... Yep, that, that'll be good. Yep. Uh, so your air, your coral flies and strikes one of them in the abdomen, in the, in the gut. Nice. Is that uh, the, the first victim? time you've hit with that? No, that would be the second oh. time you've hit with that, isn't it? Um, okay, you, yeah, your your coral um, strikes the creature in the uh, abdomen, uh, cutting him a little bit and also pinning his, uh, basically his armor, his vest. His leather vest that he uses as armor to the wall, which will stun him, which will stun him for <laughs> one round as he tries to get it off. Well, we got some. Well, we got we got one that's basically a sitting duck. Thor. So we've killed uh, the leader, guy. Yeah. One has fled. One has fled. The other one got hit by a bolt from a crossbow. Uh, and that's that's all we see right now. There's only the the last guy. The last guy, yeah. 
You Played. hear, uh, you hear, clinking and clackling and buckling of straps. And I go that way. Various other last guy's nobody. Okay. I'm gonna kick the head in front of me too while I go. Okay. Uh, you're gonna uh, make your way down the hallway and uh, uh -huh. kick. I'm gonna kick. Any... Kick hard? How, how hard? Really hard? Just, I'm just kicking the can like in front of me. I'm just, okay. I'm, I'm soccer. I'm dribbling it. I'm dribbling it up to the. I'm, I've got a gift for them. That was fucking. To, fucking crazy man uh so when you begin to move down the hallway you realize now that uh what you couldn't see before is that this is not uh, a long hallway at all it's only about five feet and then it empties out into another chamber uh-huh um and the you don't even get to the head the, the head rolled all the way into the room okay and that you sense you can't see but you sense with your blind fighting that there are at least three or four goblins in this in this room now how exactly does blind fighting work so blind i take fighting no means... penalties even though i can't see anything yep um it's all through sense of smell i assume you wouldn't be able to do cold he, come on he's like he, it's got to be something that you know uh all right sense of smell okay well it's the same it's the same way that a circuit performer can throw knives blindfolded okay well so i mean it's more hearing wouldn't you think yeah i'm just joking it's not sense of smell it's here Okay. Uh, is no, there a goblin near me as I enter this room? Um. Yeah, near you. Like wait, lying in wait. Perhaps. All right, I attack him immediately. Um, okay. Does that mean I'm you actually... can never be like caught unawares with blind fighting? No, it doesn't. It means he takes no penalties to combat in low light scenarios. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack this guy. I'm going to do another called shot to the head. Okay, sure. Even if you can't so see it? Even yep. if I can't see it. Because huh. it takes no penalties from... It's blind fighting. I can, I, You can blindfold me and I can fight. Yes. 31. Oh, yeah. Is that what the... That's what the penalty. All right, yeah. yeah uh, so you know for sure you hear... You don't even really feel anything. You, you, what, you run in, you rush in... You swing your sword to your right, and it basically hits the wall. Um, and then you hear the sickeningly squishy sound of a of a headless corpse slumped to the ground. And I just flip the head into the center of the room again, because they can see this shit. Yeah, they can. I, I start to make a pile of heads in the center of the room. <laughs> There's two. How about um, the goblins? Let's see. So the, the two goblins that are in the, the first chamber will actually, well, one of them will spend his turn remo removing his armor from the wall. And the second one will take a couple shots, you know, protecting his comrade. Uh, he'll take two shots at Pike. Okay. Um, on the first shot, the um, arrow flies true but it is deflected by Pike's natural armor. And uh, on the second mm. on the second one, the bowstring snaps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. the goblin, and the goblin looks very worried at that. As he would. As he would. As he would. In the... Uh, Amateur. In the, in the room with, with Thor in it, there are, in fact, three other goblins in that room. And uh, you can't see them, but you know they're there. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, and these goblins are going to fight to kill. Of course they are. They're goblins. They, do they not ever? Do they ever not fight to kill? Uh, they they run away if they're intimidated. Ah, uh, but they're not intimidated by the two headless colleagues. Well, you know, as as the player, I suggest you just take it like a man. Yeah, okay. so I'm, I'm um, saying, I'm, you, you've, I'm you've made it so they can't route anymore, wreckage. No, I haven't, because I'm not blocking their exit. <laughs> okay. You guys are not, uh, Spencer, you're not aware of everything in the scenario, okay? Okay, well, you know. Well, you know. Well, I've seen the map. I'm saying. No. <laughs> um, they will all miss you, though. That, yeah, if that makes it any better. Uh, so you're you're in there. There, basically, you run in. You decapitate the first guy. There's a pause, 
uh, maybe a flash of light from a lightning bolt <laughs> or something. And uh, and then they all basically basically we just hear the sound of fighting and parrying and maybe a dwarven. Uh, well, not a, okay. Never mind. <laughs> You hear lots of goblins. Gob goblin cursing and, uh, you know, Dead a silence. lot of parrying, a lot of cling clangs. <laughs> does does Thor, like, grunt in combat or anything like that? Um, no. No. No, no sound of exertion whatsoever? Okay. Total muteness. Total muteness. Okay. Um, Even grunts are made by vocal cords. Uh, is he mute by choice or mute by circumstance? Um, mute, mute, mute by injury. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, what gave him the injury? You have to, you have to ask him. You well, I'm, I am. I'm <laughs> asking the GM who knows his history. <laughs> uh, let me find that out for you. Okay. Whose turn is it, by the way? Because it's okay. not on his sheet, but I feel like that would be preferred enemy if it was something specific that ripped out his vocal cords. Sure, now it's, it's it's Pike's turn at the moment. Okay. Pike is going to go for the goblin in the room with the bows. Okay, the one that, whose arrow snapped or the one that was removing his... or the one that's still got a working bow? Whatever he gets to first. Because he's very simple like that. Oh, damn, Pike, what's up? Critical miss. Let's see what happens to Pike. Uh, yeah. Thor, I will send this to you secretly. Ooh. You'll you'll we'll have your character tell us in game how he how he lost his voice. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Um it's pretty hardcore. Yeah, well, you know, dwarves are like that. Um Okay, critical miss. Yeah. Yeah. Stay focused. Slips in the darkness. I mean, there's no weapons that he can get hit with. Uh, no, Pike. Pike rushes up to the dwarf, uh, you know, Velociraptor style, mm -hmm. and lunges at him with his uh, small out. Um, the goblin is uh, frightened and he ducks, uh, and Pike actually runs into the wall, and he's momentarily disoriented, okay. and he will be, he will be stunned the next round. Okay, alright. Uh, so, squiggle the eyes. So, okay. So I guess it's Walls' turn then. Um, it is Walls' turn. So I hear combat going on in the other room, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna go under there with a torch. Okay. Oh, ruin everything. I, uh, motherfuckers light, gotta see, you know. <laughs> light, light, light floods the chamber that you're in now with the goblins inside it. Yeah. All right. Uh, you see with the light that this chamber is about 30 feet a across from where you're standing, and then it, it extends left and right for more than you can see with the torch. Interesting. What do I see in the room? Uh, I assume it's like a barracks or something like that. Four goblins with maces, um, as well as... Uh, no, not barracks or anything. This is just an empty room. This is like more like more foyer. Okay. Uh, you, also, you also see that there's artwork on the wall, uh, like... Um, Bas relief uh, sculpture, almost, uh, on the walls of uh, Gnomish royalty. Huh. Is it? Does it look like it was always supposed to be there, or does it look like it's just sort of hanging up? Uh, well, it's 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 chiseled into the wall. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is a Gnomish burrow. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um. Well, then, can I get an attack off? Not while holding a torch. I'm gonna drop it, obviously. Okay. Uh, obviously. So, so you, you, that, you said uh, there was that, a lightning bolt or something in here. Is there a wizard? No, I was just joking. Okay. Just for the movie version, there's a bolt of lightning, so we can see what happens. So we can see what's going on. Oh. And, and it fades. It's and darkness. Back. Yeah, it's like a it's like a samurai movie. Oh, yeah, I definitely. see what you're saying. Like the the yeah. Okay. I thought you meant like someone shot a lightning bolt and it missed, and that, that's where the light came from. Like, oh, okay. Uh. Well, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll attack one of the. Who does any of them look like well, well uh, equipped? Uh, these ones don't have swords. These ones actually have uh, maces, one-handed maces and shields. Okay. Which one's yep. the most well equipped out of all of them? 
Um, uh, the first one. All right, then. We'll do that. Okay. Plus 17. 29. Yeah. All right. Sounds so boring, completely eviscerating them. Uh, Walzer, you, uh, Thor, you see, you feel Walzer approach, torchlight floods the room, he drops it, he uses his, um, looser and hammer to, uh, wheel around and, mm -hmm. essentially he comes in and, uh, collapses the torso of a nearby goblin. <laughs> okay. You're, you hear a sickening crunch, like stepping on a cockroach. And uh, the goblin falls to the ground, mm -hmm. quivering. All right. All right. I Hang start to hard. sing. Okay, loudly. Oh. Yeah, you guys have already made quite a ruckus. Yeah. As is, uh, as was the mission. <laughs> of course. Um. Not only that, when the torchlight in the room, also you. To the left and to the right, in fact, there are. You hear more troops. All right, well, I hope for our sake that you can finish off whatever Pike's doing with him. Yeah. <laughs> and come into the room, because fuck. <laughs> yeah, I was, that's what my plan was. I was going to help out Pike, since, you know, star, starry eyes. Mm. Or swirly, I think. Yeah. Base, so, um, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to shoot at the, um, I'm probably just going to end up shooting at the uh, one goblin with the, with the working bow. That's a good <laughs> the idea. other guy's just... The other guy just kind of, what's he doing to even do? Yeah. All right. Very oh. facey, that <laughs> Man. In a court. Okay, no, Man, we're, we're back. Welcome back, Engelad. We missed you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Such is life. <laughs> Such can't, is hit, life. can't hit with a bow, but can't hit with a sword. Hot Thor. I wheel around. And decapitate another one. Okay, try. Call shot. Yep. All right. Man, that. Oof. Twenty-two. Uh, Twenty-two is going to hit him. It's not going to decapitate him. But it does um, hit in the neck, and because it's a well, club it's, shot. It's it's head. Yeah. Okay. The your great sword uh, cuts around. Uh, walls are ducks over it. You guys are fighting in sync. Like um, like the Bannons. Baby, bye, 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 all right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength. I like that. <laughs> uh, the, head, the head is struck, um, and uh, you cut him across the brow, and blood kind of starts to uh, spray into his eyeballs. Oh, well, I guess he'll have a harder time hitting people. Uh, yep. Yeah. He's going to be blinded for uh, some amount of seconds. Uh, one round, uh, in fact. That's three minutes. No, one round. I know, I was making a boxing joke, but this wasn't a very good one. No, no it wasn't. No. <laughs> I'm glad you recognized that it wasn't very good. Oh, I know. I know when my jokes suck. Yeah. So, all the time? Ooh, rough. Let's go to goblins. Mm-hmm, gooblins. There are three goblins, and then... Uh, in this room, uh, two of them will attack Thor. Uh, they will both miss wildly. Um, and then one of them will attack Walzer. Uh, Walzer, that one's going to miss wildly. I, I, I need to use the mean green. No, you don't. No, you you keep that motherfucker out of this game, please. <laughs> uh, I do not point, like the mean green. <laughs> uh, at that point, there is a... Basically, a noise... Um, this is going to be a snarl. Oh, hell yeah. And then a, uh, goblin that's mounted on a wolf will charge out of the darkness at Walzer from, um, so you've walked into this room, there's mm -hmm. goblins around you, um, on your left side in the front, there's a branching off hallway, and from that hallway is where a mounted goblin mounted on a wolf will rush out of the darkness and attempt to pounce on you. Basically, basically uh, pouncing over the one that you just killed. Oh, okay. Um, your armor class is 21. He, he misses you, but only just. 
Fucking main grain, man. You put that motherfucker away. I swear to no, God. That, that was the purple one. Oh, okay. Um, well, they, uh, well, there's 20 sides on all of these dice, Dave. I know. I've been, yeah, I've, but you wouldn't call it mean green unless it had. Look, there's been a few times like a you've rolled with mean green. High roll. I, I and know. The, mean, the mean green and the rude blue have both killed characters. That's why they're special. <laughs> okay. They get named after they've murdered people. They get named after their first kill. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. The yeah. So it's uh, exactly like weapons in Tolkien verse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. The wolf rushes up. Um, pounces over the goblin that you've killed and uh, basically bites at you, but you move your head out of the way. Oh, you, you feel the hot breath of the canine snout on you. There's a guy riding it, right? There's a goblin riding it. Um, is it who has saddled? A knife, who is, has a, some sort of bizarre wolf saddle. Ooh, okay, interesting. Um, secondly, that he is followed from behind by more goblins. These are still normal. Now, uh, does the mounted goblins size change? Uh, the wolf is a... Uh, they're separate targets, but they're both small. Okay, so they're both still count as small targets, but they're separate people. Yes. Does the goblin get an advantage for being higher off the ground by being on top of the wolf? Well, it depends he what plus, he's riding is. Plus one for being mounted. Yeah. Okay, I'm alright. We're all squared away on the rules. Let's kill us a mounted dude. Um, the additional goblins that are bringing up uh, behind the uh, wolf all have spears, and they are going to essentially block the hallway that they came from and have their spears out set to receive a charge. Gotcha. Well, they won't ever get one, so... <laughs> That's it. They don't know that. They can't see the future. Yeah. And at that point, it's time to take a break. All right. Guys... We are uh, we just got up to seven viewers is the worst time to break. We we we're gonna leave you for three minutes because we everyone needs to take a break. We've been playing for an hour now. We'll be coming back in three three minutes or so with hour number two, and you'll get to find out whether or not this uh, this pike wall will actually be effective. Probably not, but we'll see how we go. Will, will Inward ever hit another shot? Will the Pike ever no. stop sucking today? No one will know. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. How Don't go anywhere. How many people will Thor decapitate? Probably another five or six. We'll see. Um, that's what numbers I'm going for. All right, guys. All right. We'll be back see in you guys moment. in three minutes. Yeah.